hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Oh, you're wonderful now. I am now. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the wind blows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year, I wanna hang out with my friends and family. Is coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. quite loud here. I don't know how much you can hear but I really hope you can hear me. We are sat in Patisserie Bahamui. We just finished our cake and a drink. We actually wanted to have lunch here after the Upside Down House but we already had very late breakfast at home and we really wanted a Christmas cake uh, but it was super popular that it was all sold out so we had to get ordinary cake. I went for a double chocolate and a double chocolate cake and an orange chocolate with ginger. It's like super sweet. I haven't had this much chocolate in such a long time. But regardless, the upside down house was a little bit disappointing, I would say. I had so much hopes for it. I thought it was really, really hyped up, but maybe one off for the experience of it. You can watch it once. Leva is playing with his, um, with his high chair, portable high chair, and he's pushing the phone away. You can go once, okay, just for the experience of it. It was so tipsy and I felt really nauseous in there, really tipsy, probably because the entire thing was like slanted, everything was upside down and the flooring was slanted as well. It's like very difficult to explain how it is, you know. So you need to take a picture technically and then rotate it so that it looks as if uh, you're hanging on the ceiling or everything else is hanging on the ceiling, everything else is hanging on the ceiling. Uh, no, it looks as if you are standing upside down. I'll try and insert a few pictures. I took a very, very short video inside. There were a lot of other people, so we couldn't really take videos at all. That's about it. That's our Saturday, actually. I don't think we're going to do anything else. This is way past Levi's bedtime at the moment. He had his lunch so late in here. Um, but yeah, as soon as we go back home, I have a feeling Levi is going to cry. She's already hyper and he's really super tired. As to why, I just noticed I actually look really tired. Levi woke up at 5 in the morning this morning and he was playing in his pot. He's still in our room, so his pot is next to the master bed. Um, and he was playing, literally cooing and shouting out to us and calling us. He was awake for an hour and a half, so obviously we were awake. I was awake also for an hour and a half, listening to him play, just making sure he wasn't crying or anything like that. And then yeah, he had his nap in the morning and we were doing something at home, talking about and stuff. But once we go home, I think that's it for our day actually. I'll show you what this boy is doing. <laughs> he's already had lunch, but he's acting as if he's super hungry.
morning, I had completely forgotten to pick up my camera this morning and suddenly I realized while we were in the shop, we went to church in the morning, spoke to people people and everything. It's already half 11 now actually. Um, we went to a Chinese shop nearby. Can you see the name here? That's, that's, uh, that's a building near me because I wanted to buy pao and dim sum and dumpling. That's a fake cough by the way. Levi does a fake cough for attention these days. Um, so yeah, I wanted to buy a few stuff so we stopped by and we got a few things. I'll show you what I got when we get back home. Let me show you what Levi's doing. What's going on baby? What you doing? What did you see in the shop? What did you see in the shop? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Yeah? You're hungry, aren't you? We are back. Let me show you what we got. First one, from crackers. This is... This is Lakshman's. He got the one with spicy flavor. And this is mine. We got two because he wanted spicy flavor and also because he said that I won't share with him. Which is somewhat true because I'm definitely not going to give him half of it. And then I got this mochi. I got chrysanthemum tea and peach tea. Uh, what is this? This is soya with, with the pearls thing. Like from one to that. I got veggie dumplings and red bean bun, the pearl. And this, I have missed this so much. Let me show you what it is. It's a tofu pho. I think it's also called something else. It's homemade. It's so warm and nice. It was so fresh. They had just brought it in and I was waiting for them to bring it in. This is a syrup to go along with it. And there you go. That's a tofu pho. never wear monochromatic look or you know that per se thing but I was so surprised this looks good together didn't even buy it together this was from six years ago this bed is so spoiled and old and this is from last year I wore this through my pregnancy almost entire pregnancy I'm kind of liking it together actually maybe I should consider this a lot more often now Okay, which one do you want? One is plum, another one is passion fruit, and another one is pomelo. I don't know which is which. It's a fruit. What? You saw the whole thing, I thought you bite half. How is it? I don't sir, sir? Do you want one? Ah! <laughs> You are very quick to take it, aren't you? Hmm. It's quite nice. Good morning. It's Monday morning now. What a busy weekend we had. Usually, we wouldn't do anything over the weekend at all. You know, we hardly ever go out. But now that Levi is growing up slightly, we feel like we have to take him out so that he can see new things and he seems to be really really interested in going out also and he's just wondering why i'm talking to the phone and not to him do you want to talk as well baby it just feels nice to stay in on a monday we were supposed to go out but then um some of my deliveries got messed up so i'm staying in today to sort that out um, and yeah the weather looks really windy and rainy and everything so we're just going to be staying in um, while I'm folding clothes I wanted to talk to you about my plans for today which is not much a lot of 
planning today, a lot of、um, organizing, I want to say. Planning, actually, I have plenty of lists to do. I started early this morning when I woke up to feed Levi. I started it and I haven't finished. So when he goes to sleep in a couple of minutes, I need to finish up all of my list so that I can organize things accordingly. I've made a list for our outfits, the clothes that we're going to be wearing when we go to Glasgow, another list for packing. Levi has his own list of his day. Baby, is that tasty? Do you like that? Yeah, you do, don't you? This is one of his favorite toys. It was actually part of his bumble seat. But there's a, oh, watch out, baby. The suction cup in the bottom over here, this suction cup is not all that great, so it doesn't actually stay put on the bamboo seat. So I never attach it to that. I just give it to him separately to play with it. So,、um, what was I saying? List. So we have an outfit list and then we have packing list one for Levi, one for me and Lakshman. Ours is that kind of basic. It's Levi's things that I'm really concerned. I don't want to forget anything. I want to make sure I take all of his things. Some of the stuff, like you know, nappies and wet wipes, and some other basic stuff, we can just buy there in Glasgow. That's fine. That's not a problem. But it's something that he's used to every day, like his sleeping bag and his noise machine,、um, and his medicine and other toiletries and stuff. I would prefer to pack it from here so that I don't have to, you know, go there and look for it. But if I do forget, then come up. But I'll just order online and have it delivered to my mother's house for me. Those are the list, and then、um, another list is for the open house. I need to finalize my menu. It's going to be like finger food and kind of healthy stuff, so I need to finalize the menu, and then make a list of ingredients to buy. And oh, I need to sneeze. Excuse me. Excuse me, did I shock you? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, baby. You can continue playing. That's it. I'm done with my sneezes. Okay, you can continue playing. <laughs> yeah, and、uh, Christmas dinner this year is in my mother's house, so my in-laws will be coming over to my mom's house. Um, we've already made a list. My mother is going to do the shopping and the cooking and everything. And of course, I'll be helping her out a little bit. So I don't really need to. Worry about Christmas menu. I'm just thinking about you know the plans for the whole day because I want to make sure we fit everything in for the time that Levi is awake. I don't want to drag his bedtime too much and then make him tired.、Um, yeah, that's a battle actually. So what else was I going to do? I need to sort out some of my returns also. Yeah. I bought two pairs of shoes in two different sizes, so I need to return. Pack up one of it to return.、Mm. Whoops! Whoops! Uh oh! That was really Levi. Weaning Levi since six months has been one of the hardest things ever since having him. Um, I've read a lot of things, a lot of research. I've done a lot of things. Somehow, I thought we had a pattern. I thought we could agree on partial baby lap weaning and partial spoon fed puree, a mix of everything. That's basically what we're doing. Okay, all this while I was going okay. I mean, we did have our ups and downs. Today has been by far the most difficult. It looks like he is enjoying himself. Are you enjoying yourself? Did you have fun having lunch? Was it nice? Shall we have a closer look at your bibado, at your bib? All of these are his saliva everywhere because he sucks his thumb. <laughs> He's been stuffing everything in his mouth along with his thumb. Yes, you have. You enjoying this, aren't you? Oh, you want the phone now? Do you want the phone? But you want to have more lunch. Shall we try this? Ah, ah, no, no. Okay, this is what you want then. This is what you want. 
Ya. <laughs> I am fully aware that mess is how babies learn, okay? But my OCD self cannot take it. Sometimes I'm more than happy to have fun. Most of the time, the food goes up his nose, behind his ears, everywhere. Today, it's gone everywhere, basically. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I am so happy it's already Wednesday. It feels as if it's been such a long week and yet the time is just coming by so, so quickly. Um, anyway, I didn't bother picking up my camera yesterday because we didn't do anything differently. The only thing extra I did yesterday was cut my hair and even then it's still crooked. But regardless, today I'm out now. I have a few things to do. I had to run some chores, um, had to do some returns, went to the library to return a few books, went to Royal Mail to return a few things. And I am now in my second favorite shop ever the first one is ikea and the second one is home sense or home sense could also be the first one in fact maybe i'll have to um you know as the first one but yeah i love i absolutely love home sense i've come here to buy a few things some of our friends um have moved home so i want to get them like a new home gift and i want to look for um potentially Christmas gifts for a few other people as well and maybe something to be by also some toys if they have anything for him um, if I don't get the toys here I'm going to go to b &M because I want to buy a few toys for him for our car journey back to Glasgow I was thinking of a few of the toys that we have but then I figured I can't carry everything it's super huge so I want like small toys that I can take and something new so that he's interested um, to keep him you know occupied we have no idea how he's going to be but from what i've heard it's going to be difficult especially when he's away he wouldn't want to go back to his car seat so i really need something interesting for him so let's have a look and see if i find everything and let me show you my favorite shop ever last year i thought about According to my original plan, I was only going to pack on Wednesday next week, but I am impatient. I just cannot wait. I want to pack today. I haven't got anything else in my schedule this week. My schedule, meaning my schedule of my planning to go to Glasgow next week. So I'm going to start packing now. I've already taken my clothes and Lachman's clothes and put it aside in our suitcases, but I need to like, you know, go through everything and finalize and see if I have everything sorted. I haven't done anything with Levi's clothes so I bought quite a lot for him because he needs a lot more clothes now anyway and because it's Christmas we're going back to Glasgow for the first time um, we are doing photo shoots going here and there and everything so I wanted like you know matching clothes and nice clothes for him and warm clothes for him also so I've gathered some of it together in one place and the rest is all over the place so I'm gonna bring everything here kind of finalize it so we have what do we have we have the photo shoot we have the open house we have christmas day um and we have the boxing day which is my mother-in-law's birthday and it's a sunday service that we will be going to church so these four occasions i want like proper formal wear for him uh which i've already bought and then the rest of the days that we are there it's going to be like casual whatever so i am going to put you on a time lapse most likely bring all of the clothes here in the living room because Liva is sitting here playing and I'm going to try and organize it before he goes to sleep. We've got, say, about 10 minutes or so. Um, well, I will still continue after he sleeps, but I want to do the main chunk of it and then I can do the rest of the packing after that. I've not had a very productive hour at all. 
I laid out everything. I kind of found a few clothes as and I sorted out a few clothes and organized it. And then I realized that a lot more of the clothes that I need to take for his casual wear and daily use in Glasgow is for washing. So I went and did some laundry for Levi. I need to now dry those clothes. And then I realized I needed more sleeping bags. I started, I don't know if you can see, but I started browsing and searching for some sleeping bags online. And then I wanted to pack some of his toiletries. And then I realized I cannot pack everything. I can only pack some of it, obviously, because we have another 10 days before we leave. And it doesn't make sense to buy a lot of things. But I have packed up a little bit of his toiletries and I've made another list of things that I need to take next week so that I don't forget and list of things of last minute stuff and then once his clothes dry hopefully by tomorrow or the day after i will then be able to take it but some of those clothes are the ones that he would use at home also you know here for the next 10 days so i need to try and work it out properly to see how i'm gonna take some of his clothes i realize that i am packing a lot i am over packing for him especially because i feel like i always need spare clothes for levi it's not like us you know we can keep our clothes clean but babies is like i noticed that we dirty his clothes a lot we meaning me and him so even if i put on a bib for him sometimes it just goes through the bib true meaning because you know his hands he sucks his thumb and then he plays with it and he puts his hand on his clothes or he pulls his bib or he does something okay and he's enjoying himself sometimes playing around so it's like dripping from his mouth and his chin and everything so that kind of dirty his clothes and I definitely need backup for him. I always want to pack light and travel light, but with Levi, we cannot do that at all. But it's a good thing that we're driving, so it's fine to, you know, overpack for him. It's okay. I will definitely be doing laundry while I'm in my mother's house because two weeks is a long time to go without doing laundry. Here in Bristol, I would do his laundry twice a week sometimes, maybe every four or five days. Sometimes when I have like a lot of extra clothes and I don't have to do it that often. Certain clothes that we need, like um, his jacket that he needs to wear outside and stuff, and I need to wash that more frequently. So yeah, I, I still need to do a lot of things. I still need to buy stuff. I still need to organize everything. Um, yeah, I, I had laid everything out on the mat. I needed to bring everything in. I've brought it to his changing table now, but I need to put all of these away because I have to go and wake him up and bring him here to change his nappy. So that was quite a waste of my time, but I didn't want to wait until next week and I really wanted to wait now, so I just ended up to... <laughs> Is that fun? Is that fun? Yeah. Shall we try opening presents today? Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, come, let mommy help you, okay? I'm gonna come and sit next to you. <laughs> okay. These are all empty boxes. It's from some of the parcels that I got. Apparently, this is like um, a developmental thing. You let children open presents because it's kind of with their fine motor skills and everything. And it helps them to learn to grab things and it helps them to also uh, feel different textures. Yeah, does that feel nice? One is that tapping thing that Levi was doing earlier. Another thing is when you rip wrappers, it makes noise and babies like that noise. He loves this. Doesn't go to your mouth, baby. Yeah, there you go. Look. Do you want to rip that up? <laughs> I try not to use the phone at all in front of Levi or with him. Uh, but yeah, sometimes, obviously we use it for phones and um, for videos and for photos and stuff. 
if I use my phone while I'm carrying him, this is what he would do. He would try and take it from me. You know, while Levi was sleeping, I was going to do something else. However, this OCD in me, I just couldn't think of anything else at all. As in, I couldn't do anything else without sorting out my clothes. So, this is what I did. You know, in last week's vlog, I showed you that I dumped everything inside the suitcase. I literally dumped it. Today, I rearranged it. This is Lakshman's suitcase. Um, the one on the left, on this side, is all his pants and his t-shirts and these are all his shirts and his jumpers and in my suitcase here I've got all of my dresses and my jumpers and shirts and stuff on this side and this side I have like casual wear and pajamas and stuff so clothes are all sorted I just need to take on the garments and stuff and accessories which I am going to do now hopefully Accessories all done, all of my earrings are here, the ones with stones are in here, and that's a set, and another chain, watches over here, Lakshin's watch is also here, I've got a matching one, I don't know if he's going to wear it, but let's just take it, and these are the bracelets, that's all, that was easy. Everyone's having a good, good time I hear the single